Welcome to episode 35 of Dad's Rank Things. I'm Jones. I'm Tyler. And this is going to be a Christmas special, so all of our lists are going to be related to the holidays, including Tyler's shirt. Um, when you think of Christmas, of course, you can't say anything without saying Santa. Um, so we decided Santa has a job one particular day of the year. What else does he do for 364 days? And he has to do something for money, right? He can't just live high on the hog off of one day. Yeah, I mean, or else, what's, what's his salary like? I mean, that's just being lazy, too. So what, is, what job would he have the rest of the year? Um, I'm going to start off with my number three. He's a movie extra for all the Hallmark Christmas movies because <laughs> there's a shit ton of those. And they got to have somebody to play Santa. Why not have the real guy? So that's what Santa does. He makes some money on the side. I like Hallmark that Christmas one. Movies. Every every Lifetime, Hallmark, now Netflix, yeah. holiday movie has at least one Christmas uh, mall Santa. Mm -hmm. It could be him. Or it could be the neighbor who looks like Santa who actually is Santa. Ooh. Spoiler alert. Whoa. Um, Whoa, you just wrote a script. Ooh, that's crazy. That's meta because it is Santa in the movie who's the real Santa, but actually it's the real life Santa too at the same time. Bam. Meta. So Hallmark Christmas movies is a Santa's little Deep. Uh, So yeah, for me, my number three is Amazon Fulfillment Center Greeter. Okay. There's so many people that work at these things. Yeah. What better way to keep them all cheered up, getting the presents out to all of us, than to have Santa greet you on your way in? It's almost like the North Pole <laughs> here. <laughs> and he has the expert knowledge to, yeah. to lend a hand sometimes if somebody's having trouble finding the right gift for somebody. Oh, my God. I know exactly where it's at. See, we're already really good at this, <laughs> all right? The, the, the top three th other... Job Santa has 364 days a year. Uh, my number two is pretty simple. He should be a TikTok influencer. Oh, good lord! You know he's 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 been known to have some good uh, laughs and some good jolly yeah. ho ho hos. He could probably get some good followers going on there. That's so. People make some. You know you don't make a lot of money with being a TikTok influencer, so he's going to have to brand out. And he's going to have to reach out to a younger crowd somehow, too, because, of course, the younger kids, they don't or write letters to, to say anymore. Or look out to an older crowd. Yeah. <laughs> it is aging. My kid's not on TikTok. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know what Santa would TikTok about. Is he a dance guy or is he a joke guy? Is mm. he a skit guy? Maybe he makes what's toys. Santa, what's Santa do? I mean, Mrs. Claus probably has more likelihood to be a TikTok. She might be. Or she might be better. Uh, my number two is a reindeer fight club promoter. <laughs> so he goes around looking God, for the toughest reindeer. He's like the Michael, Michael Vick of reindeer? <laughs> yeah, he's got to look for the toughest reindeer to put in his crew. Because, you know, Donner and Blitzen are getting old. And he's got to replace them sometimes. So let's go fight to the death and figure out which reindeer to put on the, uh, the sled team next. I so, like it, though. I like it. He's, a, he's like the Don King of reindeer. Fights. Which one of the reindeers do you think is the most badass? Based on name. Solely on name. Uh, Blitzen. It's got to be Blitzen, right? Yeah, he's he's bringing it. He's it's bringing it. I'm not picking Cupid. <laughs> uh, my number one is similar to your number three, though, but it's going to Walmart door greeter. Because every Walmart has that friendly old face as you walk in, and it gets you in the holiday spirit. They have something you know uh, nice to say about <laughs> coming into the door. You're going to leave in a bad mood, but at least going in, you might be in a good mood. The difference is, it would just be Santa telling people to put their damn mask on. <laughs> Santa's got a new job this year. It's not to greet people, but to enforce the rules. Santa wouldn't do that, though. He's got people on the naughty list and the nice list, so he, he probably would just write it down. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, you're getting cold. So I'll show you. Uh, my number one job that Santa has the 364 other days of the year is vaccine trial patient. <laughs> guys, guys, the dude is immortal. <laughs> we should just try everything out on him. See, see how he kills you? you see how, no, you know, he'll react, of course. It's just see what it does to his body, you know. Maybe take some of his uh, antibodies and put them in some of the other stuff that we're giving out to people. It, it could work. He That's could be a trial patient. Uh, especially with, like, weight loss drugs. Because Santa's well, got could, a few extra pounds. So what, what would work he could for use him? That. Yeah, you know, and just... He, he could be in the placebo category. It's okay. Sure. Santa should donate his blood. That's how he should make his money. Actually, the plasma. plasma. Since, he, since he's immortal. See, that's, that our, plasma, that's our collective one. 